Hi, my name is Dan Sicato. I'm one of the orthopedic surgeons here at Scottish Rite for Children. And so we're in the current operating rooms, which are going to soon be our old operating rooms as we move into the new operating rooms. And we're very, very excited about that. But let's take a look at uh, where we are today. And this is room four, the fourth room of our operating rooms uh, as we currently have them. Follow me. So here we are in the operating room, um, and you can see it's a very typical operating room that has all the features you would see with lights and monitors for x-rays and other things, and our anesthesia technology up at the top of the room, and all the things that make an operating room successful. These have been our operating rooms for nearly 50 years and have served us very well and served the children and the families that we're privileged to take care of very well. But now we have new operating rooms, we're very excited, and so we're going to go check them out. So welcome, we're now in the new operating rooms and you can see everything is brand new. And so here's the uh, sinks that we uh, get our hands nice and clean before surgery, getting ready for surgery. And you can see we're right outside OR room one. So there are six operating rooms here. So we have greater number of operating rooms. Instead of having to push the door open, we can just hit this and come right in with the automatic door opener. So come on in. So the first thing you notice, in addition to the fact that everything is new, is it's a much bigger operating room. And today, with technology and all the things we're using with uh, surgery and the advances in surgery, uh, we need bigger operating rooms. And so things like robotic surgery, no navigation, these are all things that we're uh, doing to a certain extent and exploring. And those are the things that we need to be ready for as the technology continues to advance. The other things that you don't see here is what's really, really important in surgery is to avoid infection. And infection is something that today is much better to take care of with all the new technology with air flow through the operating room. So the sterile air is in the operating room and it maintains the sterility of all the surgery we do. The other technologies that you can see here is you can see that on each uh, wall of the operating room, we have a monitor that allows us to, again, see the things that are important to us. So in orthopedics, we use a lot of x-ray imaging. And so not only the preoperative imaging, but the imaging that we're getting in the operating room. So as a surgeon, you want to be able to just look up and be ergonomically um, uh, successful in doing so without having to turn multiple ways. So those are important to us to see things in, really as they're happening. We also look at, in spine surgery, spinal cord monitoring, and so we're able to look at that on the monitors. We have clocks on the wall so we can see and sense where the timing is, because timing is important for certain things to keep the patients very safe. You can see that um, one of those safety features, and um, it's really a, a convenience, but more importantly a safety feature, is that we have between the operating room and the sterile, what we call the core area, which is on the other side of this wall, Everything is sterile back there. So all of our sterile equipment can be accessed and it can be passed through from the sterile core area to this area uh, into the operating room. And so there's doors on the other side and things can be passed through. We have a warming uh, oven here that will also keep things uh, at a certain temperature. So if there's sterile items that need to be kept at a certain temperature, it allows us to do so and be passed from the sterile core area into the operating room. You can see also that there are booms that come down in the um, center of the operating room. And so these lights are really state of the art. And you can see, although we had newer lights uh, that were probably 10 years old, you can see that the modern technology allows the lights to be smaller. They have 72 bulbs in each of these lights. And that's really important because it allows us to really see the anatomy without shadows or without any uh, obstruction of uh, what we're trying to see. And within the light here, you can see a high definition camera that allows us to take images, look at video. It's a teaching institution, so we can view the surgeries that we're doing through these high definition cameras and also capture video that we can use later on to create teaching videos. One of the things that is also state-of-the-art here is that you'll notice very few things are on wheels, that everything comes down from a boom. So on this particular boom, for example, we have, lot, we have some equipment and there'll be more equipment once we're really up and running. But this is all on this boom and this boom can be moved in a number of different directions depending on where you want it to be. And it actually has a lock on it that uh, allows it to be locked in place once you've moved it. 
uh, but this has things like our electrocautery and our camera light source and other things that are really important uh, for surgical treatment. You'll see this other boom has uh, all the things that we need, primarily for anesthesia, and you can see that there's electrical outlets, there's oxygen, there's the gases that are used for anesthesia. You can also see that a safety feature, which is really important, is that if there is an emergency, if there has to be sort of personnel that need to come on in and uh, really take care of a patient that's critically ill, there's an easy uh, button to push to call all of those folks in and make that very uh, simplified and efficient to get the right team in the operating room with us. Avoiding infection is one of the things that we always try to do, and there are many things, including the laminar flow that's modern and state-of-the-art here in the operating room. The other thing that happens is things that are really important that happens after the operating room is finished and the day is done is that we want to keep this room as sterile as possible. So we have state-of-the-art lights that um, today will allow the operating room to get sterilized in a fairly short period of time. It's called indigo light, it's the technology. Uh, in uh, older operating rooms, you have to actually bring in the light and it's uh, ultraviolet light and it's not quite as effective. So within 15 minutes after you're done with each surgery, the room gets sterilized, gets cleaned, and the indigo lights helps, helps us to keep everything clean and sterile. One of the new features in this operating room is this technology, which is uh, this particular system. It's called the collaborator. And so I like the term because it allows us to collaborate with everybody in the team and to have synergy within the team. And so there's many features of this that can be utilized, that can be customized. And what it allows you to do is to bring up lots of different things to uh, keep the patient's surgery going very safe and effective. So for example, uh, a couple of quick features, and, and we're still learning some of the features that are on this, but it's something called the whiteboard. And so we can call up the whiteboard and this whiteboard allows us to uh, take notes and uh, put things up here that are important for everybody to see. And so you can quickly take notes and um, after the surgery, or I'm just gonna write down here, check x-rays as a note that we can then move this uh, off to the side. And you can bring it up here and you can make it small or you can make it large and then you can expand it later on. And so that's one feature. There's other features where we're gonna put up x-rays, which I uh, can't show you because this is not integrated quite yet. But there's other things that are really important. As a teaching institution, we really spend a lot of time with uh, training the next generation. And one way we do that is with teaching them and showing them and doing the surgery sort of before we do the surgery. And so for example, if we're operating on a lower extremity, we can call up the lower extremity uh, anatomical structure and we can move that in three dimensions. And really look, if we're operating on the pelvis, for example, we can expand this a little bit. And then we can move this image and we can spin it around and take a look, for example, if we're doing an acetabular procedure, we can show the anatomy where we're gonna do the cuts in the bone to free up that socket. We can look at, that's the bony structures, but we also can look at the surface anatomy, so under the skin, these are the muscle groups that we'll have to work around, and the anatomical structures that we certainly want to avoid, which is the artery, the vein, and the nerve, which are there. And so we can review this as the anesthesiologists are getting the patient ready, uh, and review this with our trainees. It's also a good review for us. It's always good to kind of map out the surgery before you actually do the surgery. So that's it for the new operating rooms, but let's go to the post-anesthesia recovery room and see where the patients recover after surgery. This is the post-anesthesia care unit and where the patients get recovered after surgery, and so we're gonna show you this next. So as you can see, this is a very big area. We didn't show you the old one, but this has nine bays, where our other one has four bays. And so a much bigger unit, much more room. You can see that there's a nice central nursing station, so all the patients can be viewed from that nursing station. It has uh, all computers and the monitors are hooked up uh, to the nursing station here and gives you quick access to patients um, and, and taking care of patients. You can see here in PACU 9, this is sort of a closed unit and we use this for patients who need a little bit of isolation, uh, generally speaking, for a lot of different reasons and really, again, state of the art to keep patients safe and healthy. So that's a quick overview of the operating rooms. We're very excited to be moving into these in the next couple of weeks. 
We know it'll help us continue to take the very best care of each and every patient we're privileged to take care of here at Scottish Rite for Children. Thanks, and we'll see you again soon.